Now, in Batavia, the YWCA is also closing down. It's a decision that has really an immediate impact on employees, services, and programs there. The organization says it just does not have enough money to keep operating. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley is in Genesee County tonight. It came um, as a surprise to us, and we were, I was very saddened. In a statement released by the YWCA, new executive director Millie Tomedy Pepper said she found the agency's finances were in disarray when she took over in February. And she said the cash position is such that we can't continue to operate, and all YWCA programs were ceased immediately and 36 employees put out of work. We have a 150-year-old organization that finds itself um, literally not having more than like $500 in their checking account and a bi-weekly payroll of somewhere between twenty-one dollars and $25,000. So in the community, that reverberates. There is now a trickle-down effect on the community because the YWCA ran before and after school child care programs. Um, certainly it's always um, sad for families when they have to go through a transition like that. So we would certainly be happy to um, provide the community with support during this time and care for their children. In addition, it operated a courthouse daycare program to help children whose parents had to appear in court. The YWCA also operated a crisis helpline and Genesee County's sole domestic violence program that assists about 650 new victims each year. So that's what we're literally doing this week, literally as of today, putting in place plan B as far as those uh, those services are concerned. County officials are now working to have the crisis helpline and a domestic violence safe house managed by other agencies from outside Genesee County. And in the meantime, those in crisis should continue to call 911. So these are critical programs that need support and we need to find a way to um, restore them in Genesee County. YWCA USA and regional YWCAs are also mobilizing to try and help. Genesee County officials tell me they hope this situation is not permanent and they're keeping their fingers crossed that the YWCA can work out its financial difficulties. In Batavia, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. Oh, well,